ライオン神エスカノール様だフルエルサ Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Critic Alex. And it turns out I was wrong about the Blue Lilia, Blue Merlin combo step up banner speculation. We've got the maintenance notice here. These are not the full patch notes, but this is the maintenance notice for the upcoming part one event for the 100 day celebration. And if you have not started playing Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross, you have to start playing now. This is an amazing time to start because you're going to get 10 tickets that are each worth one full multi. It says 11 times draw here, but anyways, it's a ton. It's a, a, over 100, at least 100 pulls, 10, 10 pulls of 10 um, on a special step up event. So huge amount of free stuff being given away, probably way more free stuff coming as well. But this is what they're advertising here. And then we see on the 100 days uh, special celebration step up banner, you have a, you're able to get SSR Infinity Great Mage Merlin, which is blue Merlin guaranteed. Um, and then you're also able to get blue green princess elizabeth with one draw ticket uh, so basically it issues a loyalty point reward like you had the loyalty points at the top for the green lilia banner they are also bringing in clear tickets which is awesome in the patrol system the patrol system is where you send your characters on your box out to do patrols and they will come back after a few hours and they will have a certain number of clear tickets or skip tickets and skip tic skip tickets are amazing because they just instantly clear the content for you so you can get back to doing other farming content that you needed to do. Um, they're making other quality of life changes to consecutive equipment draw and auto salvage. Auto salvage sounds so good. More social media form stuff. Ranked matches for PvP. Ranking matches, which sounds awesome and very fun and more challenging. Um, and then all of the Tensura coins are going away. Like the, the event coin shop is going away. So if you haven't spent those coins yet, and you weren't going to spend them to upgrade their alts. If you were going to use them for something else, you have to use them. Now, there is one more thing. There is one more thing. There was a leaked or mistakenly posted image on the French uh, Facebook page for Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross Global. And it, it showed particular cosmetics for an Earthshaker. And if you guys don't know who the Earthshaker is, it's Valenti. So there's a lot of speculation right now. There are a lot of people that are guessing that Valenti is going to be in the banner as well, as well as Merlin. So that would mean that we get at least one free copy of Valenti, green Valenti. And if you guys don't know who Valenti is, well, we're going to talk about it now. So let's take a look at who is coming and I'm going to give you my thoughts on them. So first, we know for sure 100% guaranteed blue Merlin is coming and blue Merlin is not in the game yet. She's on GP. She's not a fantastic unit, as you can see here, but she has her uses. Most notably, she is a an association for a lot of characters. So if you don't have green Merlin at all or red Merlin, or if you don't have them at, you know, alt level two, three, four, five, six, you could possibly get multiple copies of blue Merlin and have a better association for Escanor, for blue, uh, you know, blue demon melee, etc. Um, so, yeah, that, that's a good thing. Uh, and then as far as the character is concerned, she's kind of like Red Slater. She has uh, e disables everything but attack skills for one turn, but it's on a rank two card on Dark Voidbuster. And then she has an interesting one where it attacks all enemies and it decreases skill ranks. I actually really like this. It sort of makes her a potential counter, potential counter, small itsy bitsy counter to Gother because Gother will rank you up and then she will just decrease skill ranks. She also has on her rank three card decrease and deplete alt gauge. So basically what Hauser has, for example, or not, not Hauser, Elaine. She basically does what Elaine does with one of her skills um, at rank two and rank three. So that's pretty cool. I honestly think she'll be an interesting unit to play around. At the very least, like I said, she's an association and she's another cosmetic for your green or your red Merlins. But I will probably do some PvP testing with her. She does seem interesting. Um, and you know what? You could probably put her with Gother because she does most of her, you know, most effective damage and most effective disruption at rank two and three. So it'd be pretty interesting to see how that goes. And then we have Green Princess Elizabeth. Green Princess Elizabeth is already in the game, but she'll be able to get at least one copy of her. So this is amazing, not only for new players, but this is amazing for people who just never pulled Green Princess Liz. Um, she's an excellent, excellent unit for uh, Gray Demon. She's very, very good. Um, and anytime you want to alt rush, She's great. She's great for uh, Final Boss King. She does a lot of things. Uh, you know, part of the reason why she's so good is she starts with two alt orbs, and then her alt will give all allies another two. So she's really, really good at ramping your team. She pairs so well with Green King, Green Skinny King, because of the fact that he gets more crit 
uh, the more the crit chance, the more alt orbs, the more ultimate orbs he has. So that's why she's so good for green. And then she has healing. She has debuff immunity, or she has remove. Sorry, removes debuff, not debuff immunity. Um, she also has removes buffs and stances. Now this is interesting. On the JP server, she removes buffs with her rank one uh, punishing strike. However, on global, that's not the case. On global, she only removes buffs at rank two. So that's just kind of like an interesting little tidbit there. She's technically weaker, slightly weaker on global than she is on JP. It's not a big deal. She's still a pretty solid unit. You can see here it just inflicts damage, then it removes buffs. She's a, she's a very solid unit. Getting her for free is great. Um, and you will get her for free because she's the first loyalty point reward and you have 10 free multi. So that's awesome. If you already have her, you get a free platinum coin that you can spend in the store for whoever you want. So these are the characters we know that are coming. Well, Merlin's coming. She's just a she's just a gift on the on the uh, on the banner on the step up banner as a loyalty. What a lot of people are speculating is coming as well along with Merlin because having a step up for just Merlin is weird. Would be Valenti Earthshaker, the weapon researcher, and she is an OC character just like Lilia and Roxy and Shin and and Mono and all these other characters. Uh, and Valenti is pretty cool. She's a little girl with these like big robo arms that are like floating or something like that. Anyways, you can sort of see them in the images and you'll see her when she comes to the game. She's hilarious. Um, I think she's, she's got a really, really cool design. And as you can see, she's quite good for PvP and it's all because of her passive. She decreases all enemies pierce rate by her resistance, by the value of her resistance at the start of the battle. So she needs to be in your starting front line of three and then whatever her pierce rate is and it starts, or sorry, resistance, it starts at 20%. So even if you give her zero resistance gear, she will reduce all enemies pierce by 20%. Huh. I wonder who's good in PvP right now, especially geared PvP, that uses pierce damage. Can't really think of anyone. Hmm. Well, there's Hauser. There's Blue Demon Melee. There's honestly also Escanor. Escanor has a base 80% pierce chance. So you don't build him with pierce gear because he already has an insane pierce chance to begin with. He's got the highest base pierce in the game. So yeah, at, by, at minimum, she'll reduce uh, Escanor's pierce by 20%. That is going to definitely make a difference, especially when you build her in tanky teams as, as a part of a tanky team. So she's going to really open up a lot of more defensive team lineups. And the fact that she's green means she has a neutral, you know, class, a neutral attribute against Escanor. And she has actually advantageous attribute against Blue Demon Melee. Some people think that she's just a, tra a worse version, not trash, but like a worse version of, green, of Red Skinny King. But I actually think she's quite good. Um, and I think she does something some things differently than him. She's also decent for farming because she has both attack cards and one of them is an AoE. And she also decreases attack related stats and defense related stats. So you can combo her with Jericho to do lots of damage because she'll constantly be applying debuffs um, no matter what skill she does. So that is really nice. So it'll be very interesting to see if we do get Valenti. I'm very excited to use her. I want to get multiple copies of her to, to, to get up her alt and buff her up. If you get her resistance up to like 80%, could you imagine the, the, the wall? Wall, as Kabuki says. You know, you're going to be so tanky, it's going to be absolutely insane. So I'm personally really excited to see, even if she's not in this banner and she just comes later on, I'm, I'm excited for Blue Merlin as well because I don't have Red Merlin, so I'm, I desperately need cosmetics for my Green Merlin. And um, I really like these types of skills, disable everything but attack. I find that this really disrupts a lot of players and they don't understand how to play around it. And it really cripples teams that rely on King's Purify to do everything for them because you just target King and then their whole House of Cards strategy just falls apart. It's not, you know, she's not going to be amazing for PvP, let's be honest, but I'll try to make it work. I like using scuffed teams. So that's the information that we have so far on these characters and so far on the part one of the 100 day event. This is crazy and it's pretty nice because this is just part one. So hopefully they will have a lot more gifts for us and a lot more goodies in part two. But like I said, if you haven't started playing this game, just give it a try. It's free, download it. You'll get a ton of free stuff at the beginning. You'll be able to do 10 free multis right away. And if you're not sure what a multi is, it's when you go over here and you spend 30 diamonds and you pull 11 times. You get 10 of those for free on an upcoming banner. It will automatically give you a brand new free, well, the 10 free multis will automatically give you for sure her and then whoever is at the end of the step up banner, because one character has to be at the end of the step up banner, whether it's blue Merlin or whether it's green Valenti, you will get them for free as well. So you basically get two characters automatically for free on top of everyone else that you pull from the banner. Escanor is going to be on the banner. Green Lily is going to be on the banner because she's an OC. Well, probably. 
it's going to be pretty nutty. I cannot wait for it. Last but not least here, I have an SSR ticket from my weekly login, and I never do these on in videos. So I'm just going to do this right now. I still am not the proud owner of a red nunchuck bond or a red Merlin. Like I said, red collector Merlin. So hopefully talking about it will give me luck. I got red Helbrum. That's actually not bad. I like running a red Helbrum in PVP. I think his alt now is either 5-6 or 6-6. Six, six. So that is very nice for a future association that he will be uh, eligible for. Should have should have been should have been one of these cowboys down here. I really want to finish my box. I hate seeing the wanted posters there, but I cannot complain. It wasn't a Jericho dupe. It wasn't a, a Gila dupe. You know, it, it could have been. It wasn't a green. It wasn't a green Helbrum dupe. It could have definitely been a lot worse. He's five six, so we can max out his all. Let's go. Sick. So let me know what you guys think of the upcoming banner. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.